what is going on guys welcome back to another video of notes application development in android studio using firebase in last video we designed a beautiful login screen and added validation for email and password and also we successfully logged in using firebase authentication so in this video we will design add notes screen and successfully save the note in the firebase firestore database so let's get started come to the project and close all this let's open main activity xml file and click on split over here so here we have not designed anything for now we will add a plus button over here and with that plus button we will go to add note activity so let's design that first thing i will do is make it a relative layout remove this hello world and relative layout we will give the background that will be my primary so it will be our background now i will add a plus button over here so for that i will take a vector asset i need a plus icon so in drawable i will add a vector asset so for that go to drawable right click new vector asset click on it click on the clip part over here so once the icon are loaded search for add icon this plus sign i will take so i will click on this okay and click on next finish so as you can see the icon is added over here now we will add a floating action button over here using material so i will add floating action button so first one i will add floating action button width will be wrap content height will be wrap content and it is showing over here so i will change the color of this using tint background tint will be white so it is white color we want this to be here so align parent end will be true align parent bottom will be true I'll add that image as a source, add icon. Now I'll add some padding to overall layout that will be about 16 dp and give a ID to this floating action button. It will be add note button. That's it. Later we will add recycler view here for displaying all the notes. But for now we will make this on click and go to add notes activity. So let's go to main activity, create that floating action button, add note button in on create create a reference r.id.add note button so on click of this button we will go to add notes screen but we have not designed that yet let's go and create new activity that will be new activity empty activity i will give the name note details activity so all the note details will be there note details activity finished so in main activity from here start activity new intent main activity dot this to note details activity dot class that's it with plus button we will go to note details activity let's run and test how it is looking so as you can see our background is correct and when i click on plus button over here it will take me to this notes detail activity that is empty for now so let's design this note details activity you can close this main activity in this activity we will design a page title save button and the notes title and the notes content that's it we'll do that for now so let's make it relative layout background will be my primary and padding will be 16 dp so let's design it first thing i will add is text and a button so for that i will use relative layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content inside that relative layout i will add the title so text view wrap content wrap content id will be page title text will be add new note text size will increase to 32 sp and text color will be white and we'll bold it text style bold and i will add one icon over here that will be vector asset so go to drawable new vector asset click on clip art this will be save icon so i will put this done icon click on it okay next finish so for that i will use a image button image button width will be 36 dp height will be also 36 dp id we will give save note button here it is displayed source i will give done icon so as you can see here it is displayed i will move it to end so align parent end will be true and it should be center so center vertical will be also true so we'll remove this background also for that we will use a selectable item background borderless so background will be at selectable item background borderless so as you can see border is gone we can change the tint to white so it is saying we have to use app tint instead of android tint so i will use app tint 
so this is done now we'll design an edit text for title and the content below this relative layout so i will give the id to this relative layout that will be our title bar layout this is our title bar and below this relative layout i will create a linear layout so that i can add vertically linear layout width will be match parent height will be wrap content inside this linear layout it will be below our title bar orientation will be vertical padding we will give about 16 dp margin vertical about 26 dp we'll set a background tint so that it will be white color and also the background for this will be rounded corner we have created that so rounded corner so it will look like this now let's add edit text for the input so first edit text will be for title width will be match parent height will be wrap content id will be notes title text hint we will give title text size i will increase to 20 sp style i will set bold for title text style bold i will give some margin vertical 8 dp so it will have some gap padding will be 12 dp and text color will be black that's it we have designed our title edit text now i'll copy this paste it below that edit text it will be our content text hint will be content content will be bigger so i will give the minimum lines about 15 so it will have minimum lines this content i want to be here so gravity will be top i will remove the bold and that's it we have designed the title and content so we have successfully designed our add new note screen let's run it and test it so main activity click on add this is our add new note act here we can add any title here we can add any content and we can click on save to save the note so let's go to note detail activity and write the logic so first create an object for those things to edit text we have title edit text and con content edit text we have two edit text and one button that is image button save note button we will link the id over here find view id r dot id dot notes title text in the same way for content edit text notes content text and for save note button it will be save note button now we will set on click listener on the save note button so save note button dot set on click listener i will use lambda which will call a function that will be save note so i'll make a function that will be void save note and i will call this method from here now we'll do the save note logic over here first thing we'll get is note title in a string note title from title edit text dot get text dot to string we have done this thing in create account and login you can do same so con note content will be content edit text dot get text dot to string two things only we have so we will validate this data we can we can validate in different method also but i will validate here only since i am validating only the title so title should not be null so if note title is if note title equal to equal to null or note title dot is empty means if it is equal to null or it is empty we will set the error to title edit text so set error that will be title is required and we will directly return from here we don't have to go ahead because title is not there so i will only validate the title you can validate content also after this so i'm doing this because content can be empty so that's it for this video in next video we will add the functionality to add the notes to the firebase database so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you please don't forget to click on subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye